What's up everybody? I got another how-to video for you guys today. Behind me is a 2008 Chevy Tahoe. It does not have any Bluetooth capabilities or music streaming. So today I'm gonna add in a Bluetooth module and this will allow my wife to be able to listen to music from her phone. It's a very easy install. I've already looked at it a little bit. It's very easy. This should work for all 2007 to 2013 GM SUVs. The Chevy Suburban Tahoe Cadillac Escalades GMC Yukons, XLs, Denali's. After I do the Tahoe and everything works the way it should, I will be doing it to my Cadillac Escalade. That's a 2010. It does have Bluetooth calling for phones, but it has no music streaming because it's right before they came out with that. So I'd love to be able to stream music from my phone and I really don't want to put a whole new stereo system in and everything. So this right here is a way that you guys can get all of that stuff without having to do a whole new stereo. This is the Bluetooth module right here. It is BT45 GM20. If you look at the back, there's a list of all the um, GM vehicles it goes to, but I'm making this video for all the full-size GM SUVs because I have two of them, so that's what I'm really doing this for. The installation is still going to be the same if you have some of the other ones, but obviously it might not be the same when um, you're looking at the vehicle. It might not be behind the glove box like um, these ones are. The big thing to know about this, like it says right here, all vehicles must have an XM receiver. So if you do not have XM, this will not work because this takes the plug that goes to the XM module and then puts it into this Bluetooth module. So you have to have that. The other thing, as you can see on here, hands-free phone call, auxiliary input, charging port, wireless media streaming, all speaker playback, and then it's compatible with Android and Apple, Windows, Blackberry, all of that. So this is available on Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link in the description for you guys so you can follow that link and buy this. It is not the cheapest one out there, but I've heard very good reviews about it. So that's why I just wanted to buy this one and um, be happy because it keeps XM if you wanna have XM still. Um, it does not get rid of XM, so you can still have all the features and everything, and your steering wheel controls and everything are still supposed to work. The installation should be very simple. The part that takes the longest is probably gonna be putting the microphone somewhere and running the wires. But other than that, it should be um, connected very easily. When you open up the package, you have the module right here. You have the wiring harness. This is the wired microphone, and then you have the directions. So the module right here, there's a USB port. Obviously it says for charging only. Um, that's where the mic goes. And on this side to radio, optional. And then the dip um, in the directions, it tells you which way to put all these switches. So you wanna make sure that um, you look at your, what your directions say for this, because if you're doing this in a different GM vehicle, it might be slightly different. Um, like I said, this is going in a 2008 Chevy Tahoe and it will be going into a um, 2010 Cadillac Escalade. So these are the wiring harnesses um, that we're gonna hook up and then we're gonna run this microphone um, probably up into where the um, sunroof controls are. First is the XM receiver is behind the glove box. So you wanna take the glove box down. When you're looking in the glove box, there's a tab right here that holds the glove box lid up. You want to push. You want to push that tab up so the glove box slides past it, and then it'll fall down. If you want to get this out of the way, which you don't need to for this, there's three seven millimeter bolts right there that you can just unbolt that, get that out of the way. But you really don't need to get this out of the way. This box right here is the XM receiver. So this plug right here is the one that we want to get. When you're looking at the XM module, this is the plug that you want to undo. There's a tab on the other side, the back side, that if you push in and then you pull the plug down, it'll undo. It's a very easy, simple plug. It's right here. This is the tab you need to push in. In the directions for this particular module, it says it wants all the dip switches to the on position, which is down. So you want to make sure you do that. You plug in the harness that came with the Bluetooth module into the radio position right here. You take this plug from the wiring harness that's supplied and put it into 
the XM module. So you just need to find the hole. And plug it in there. And then you take the old plug that went into the XM module from the car and then plug it into the other one that's supplied with the harness. That is basically all you have to do to plug this in. So that's really how easy it is to plug this in to install it. Um, the wiring harness that's supplied with the module goes into where it says two radio. You plug the new end from the wiring harness into the XM antenna and then you plug the old wiring harness that went into there into the new wiring harness. I mean all of these should go together. They can really only go to one spot so um, it's really not that hard of a thing to do. So the only thing left to do is if you want to have the hands-free phone calls, you want to hook the mic up right here and then run the mic. If you want to do the USB or the aux, obviously like it says charging only, it'll only charge. With this auxiliary input, you can run anything old that does not have Bluetooth capabilities. So if you want to run those wires now, you can. Um, but really that's all you have to do. I'm going to zip tie this up in here so it doesn't rattle around. So I'm going to run the wires for the mic and I'm gonna stick the mic right up here. It just clips right into the backside of the um, center console up here and it holds pretty tight. I know it's not the best looking mic in the world, but you know, if it works, it works. So I'm not gonna be really too concerned about that. So that's where I'm gonna put the mic. I'm gonna run the wires along the headliner and then I'm going to take this trim panel off and run the wires down um, behind the dashboard into the module. To take this off there is two 10 millimeter bolts underneath these two caps so you want to take these two caps off, take the two 10 millimeter bolts off and then this will fall out. If you have the stereo there is a speaker here so you want to be careful not to rip these wires out. Some of the cars that you guys might be doing this on do not have these speakers, but if you do, just be careful right there. As you can see, this um, A-pillar trim is out of the way. It has this one plug that, like I said, was down there for the speaker. Um, it just has the one clip right there. Two 10 millimeter bolts that was holding it on. The handle will come out first and then you can pop the trim off. There is one clip that holds the trim on up here so you have to pry that off and then the trim panel will just come right out so now i'm just going to tuck the wires in along the headliner and then i'll tuck them into the um, wires right here drop it down and then i'll be able to connect it down into the glove box okay so so now you can see this wire the mic wire i tucked in underneath the main wire and harness that runs down dropped it in there and it is now plugged in to the module. I have that all up out of the way. So now all you gotta do is put the trim panel back on here if you took it off or whatever other trim you might've taken off. And to put the glove box back up, all you gotta do is push it back up in place. You can hear that clip and then it's clipped back in and you can shut it. And now you can hook up your Bluetooth from your phone. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you guys can follow along. I just hooked up my phone, it works perfectly. So it's very, very easy. Couple connections behind the glove box. So if you guys have any of these older um, pre-Bluetooth GM SUVs, I'd highly suggest getting this because it's a lot easier and a lot cheaper to buy this than to buy a whole new stereo and try to hook that up. Like I said, I will leave the link on Amazon to this module um, in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions about this or you know what else I did with it, just let me know and I will get back to you. Thank you.